today, we're gonna to be working on one of my kids' favorite projects. I built them this barrel train some time ago and they have had tons of fun with it. I have a new kid on the way, so I've gotta build another car. All right, let's start off with the materials we're gonna to need to start with this barrel train. The big item, the barrel. It's a 55 gallon HDPE barrel. It stands for high density polyethylene. They're pretty common, you can find them just about anywhere. If you can't find one you're looking for, try orlandodrum.com. They've been super nice in helping me out. These barrels come in just about any color you want as long as you like white or blue. I preferred white, so we stuck with white. The frame is gonna be made out of one inch square tube. It's 11 gauge, which means it's gonna be about an eighth of an inch wall. I'm gonna cut all these pieces specifically and I'll tell you what I cut them to. The main frame is 52 inches long. That's this piece here, okay? The cross piece is 20 inches long. We're gonna use some 5 8 cold rolled round stock. Those are gonna make our axles for our wheels. Each one of these are seven inches long. One inch by 5 16 flat bar. Now why 5 16 Because I had it. You could probably get by with one inch by quarter and two of these are five inches long. Now as far as the wheels go, I use the cheap Harbor Freight wheels. Why? Because they cost five bucks a piece and we'll probably never wear them out in its lifetime. As far as the hitch pin, the hitch pin that's gonna connect them together, I used a three inch long 7 16 bolt and a large flat washer. All right, before we can sling some metal and get this stuff welded together, we've gotta to bore our holes first. Let's talk about that for just a minute. On this train car, one, tr one end connects to the other car. So we need to put a hole at the tail to connect to. That hole is gonna be a half an inch. So what we're gonna do is measure back one inch and bore a half inch hole. From this end, we wanna measure back 20 inches and bore a 3 8 hole. This 3 8 hole that's right here is what's gonna help bolt the barrel down to the frame when we're done. On your 20 inch piece, the piece that goes this way for the axles to bolt into, like this. What we're gonna do is, is bore two half inch holes 90 degrees apart from each other. Three inches back, we're gonna bore a half inch hole. Three inches back, we're gonna bore a half inch hole. We're gonna flip it around and do the same thing on this end. What we're gonna do, or the reason we're gonna do that is we're gonna put something called a plug weld in there. We wanna weld the, the back end of this inside the pipe to keep it from moving. We're gonna do the good old redneck fill. We're gonna get a good weld on two sides and then fill the rest of this in. Because realistically, we're talking 60, 70 pounds in this car and that weld is a 70,000 PSI weld. If it's done correctly, we're not gonna have a problem. The last couple holes we need to drill are in our hitch. Our hitch is gonna have a half inch hole also. We're gonna measure back one inch and bore through both of these to make our top and bottom plate for our hitch. It's gonna go here and here, and that'll allow our hitch pin to drop through and connect the trailers together. We've gotta to come up with some kind of way to hold the wheel on the axle. The easiest way I came up with is to dr cross drill a hole and put a cotter pin through it. Now, you can come up with all kinds of push nuts and and other ideas, but really, honestly, a cotter pin is super simple. So we're gonna go bore a 3 16 hole through it so that we can put a cotter pin at the end of both of these axles to hold them on. I know not everybody has a drill press at home. A good sharp bit and a handheld drill will make quick work of 
bore in any hole in this project that you need to. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed what you saw here today. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and like us on Facebook, please. Somewhere down below here is a link. We've got a lot more really cool stuff coming. Is that right, camera guy? Is there a link down there? Send me a comment. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Click whatever link. Click something. See you soon.